So in this tutorial, we'll show how to import uh, VOC or, or VOC-like data sets uh, into DPU Creator. So we'll be using the VOC uh, data set. Um, so we've got that over here. There's a link in the article to get to it. Um, and uh, if you scroll down years, there's, there's many years. Um, if you kind of read through it, they explain differences you know, year in, year out. But uh, the, the sort of three years to remember are uh, 2007, uh, which provides a test set that can be used with 2008, which provides a training set. And then finally, 2011, which provides only the uh, training set. And then in other years, there's other parts to the data set. Um, some have additional segmentation images and things like that, for example. But uh, we're just curious or interested in the detection uh, samples. So you can go ahead and download uh, one of these. So just to show you where to find it, if you go under 2007 and then uh, click dev kits here, but it just basically shoots you down to uh, over here, development kit. Um, and then this file, the download training validation data is the uh, is, is what we're looking for and then or sorry <laughs> uh, this is 2007 so you can get the training validation data there but there's some corrections in 2008 so for training um, it's probably better to use the 2008 data set and then for test data um, we want this file over here so annotated test uh, data so you can see the VOC test 06 November 2007 and then for the 08, um, when we go down, well, it actually says test data is now available, but yeah, only on their evaluation server. So um, that's why we stick to just the uh, training data from this file. And you can see 550, so there's you know about 100 megs more than the 2007. Um, you can read the release notes if you want to know what exactly has changed. Um, the Forum post where this video will be posted will include uh, the, um, the download tool, or the, <laughs> sorry, not the download tool, but the uh, import tool. So once you've downloaded uh, the data set, you can um, run the tool on, uh, on, on on your machine. There's no, you just save it wherever you want. Um, it has no special dependencies uh, on DPU Creator. It'll create the project file and everything for you. Um, so you can type uh, dash help to get a list of the options. Um, kind of difficult and truncated are uh, tags specific to VOC. Uh, so drunk, trunc truncated means uh, it's missing part of the object. So it's an incomplete uh, annotation. So we normally don't use those. And difficult is just if it's a particularly uh, tricky one. Um, I don't know if there's actually many examples of it in the data set itself, uh, but they're, they're optionally, don't typically use it. Um, group refers to for the project we'll be importing into, um, whether to import as the train or the test set. And then project refers to obviously the, the deep group project. So if we say, uh, project and then uh, I keep my projects over here. So DPU slash you'll see uh, new just because I already have a VOC data set project dot DPU and then dash group. I uh, will do the um, testing set first and then um, finally the, the actual download. So I've got it. Uh, here, you'll see test. There we go. So just hit enter. It'll run through. It's pretty quick. And then this has created the the the, the project, so we can, we can confirm that it exists. Uh, so you'll see new.dpu. And there it is. It's about 300 megs. 
and then uh, we'll just run it again with the um, to, to import the training set, and then we'll open the project in DPU. Again, DPU importer dash project DPU slash PCU dot DPU, and then the group will be trained this time. You'll see train val. There we go. Or that's 2012. There we go. 2008. That again, uh, the the tool's not <laughs> uh, perfect enough. It works well with these uh, VOC data sets, um, but it tends to be. Uh, I guess we've seen lots of examples where people don't quite follow the uh, defined uh, spec from VOC. Um, so if you run some issues, just you know let us know and we'll we'll take a look uh, take a look at it. Um, and then uh, the, I believe the code for this or for one of the other ones will also be available as a sample at some point. Uh, but there we go, we've run those two. And then from DeepView Creator, we'll go uh, import or open the project. So under DeepView, there's our VOC new. And uh, there we go. That's uh, VOC. Um, so it's got uh, you know a number of labels. Um, I believe it's twenty labels, and then there's about three thousand train images and about three thousand uh, test images. Uh, for you know six thousand total images, and then if we click number of images at the top here, you can actually switch this to number of labels um, and we see there's uh, it looks on average is nearly two labels per image so total labels is uh, about 12,000 um, and that's just because there's you know often multiple objects in a uh, in an image we can go and open it so this one here should uh, have two two people yeah, person one person two and then, uh, yeah, we could filter by, you know, look at all the airplanes, all the bicycles, uh, and and so on. So uh, this data set can be trained um, for classification tasks, but it's not uh, uh, ideal for it, um, mainly because a lot of the uh, bounding boxes are. are well, like you saw, person, they're very, very, very tall, so it'll get squished down when you're running just a classifier. Um, and anyhow, this this data set's really meant for um, detection tasks. Uh, nope, it, it's it's a you know it's a big data set takes a long time to train. I think uh, around 500 epochs is where we're kind of. Um, starting to surpass, you know, kind of 30% type uh, accuracy. We start to expect some, some, you know, somewhat meaningful bounding boxes. But uh, anyways, that's it for the importer. And then uh, we'll follow up with another tutorial that talks about, uh, you know, things to know while, while training it. Um, and uh, maybe some, you know, important tidbits about the uh, detection data set itself. Thank you.